All right, hey guys, it's Dr. Erig. If you have been with me from episode one, congratulations, we're on our last unit. Yay! Parallel and perpendicular lines. You have to know that parallel lines have the same slope and perpendicular lines have the opposite reciprocal. But if you don't know the slope formula, that is on the formula sheet. So I kind of like questions like this because it's super easy. What is an equation of a line that passes through at the point negative 2, 5 and is perpendicular to the line whose equation is y equals 1 half x plus 5? Well, perpendicular, we know they're going to make right angles. Hopefully in your head you knew you, need, you needed the opposite reciprocal slope, so you knew it was going to have to be choice 2 or 4. But let's pretend you didn't know that. How do we use the graphing calculator? First, we type in our function. I'm going to do f of x equals... 1 half, move my arrow, x, plus 5. I also know it needs to go through the point negative 2, positive 5, so I'm going to just write that. Now, I'm just typing in the answer choices and see which one makes a right angle through the red line and goes through the blue dot. So let's do a of x, the first choice, because I can't write the number 1. y equals 2x plus 1. Well, I wrote y equals, didn't I? Let's take that out. y equals 2x plus 1. Well, that doesn't make a right angle and it doesn't touch the blue dot, so it can't be choice one. So now I'm going to do negative 2x plus 1. Right angle, blue dot, correct answer is number two. Let's do the other ones just to make sure. Here's number three. It goes through the blue dot, but it doesn't make a right angle. It's not perpendicular. It does intersect, but it's not perpendicular. And then here is number... Four, it is perpendicular, but it doesn't go through the blue dot. So for that reason, the best answer choice is choice two. Perpendicular, meaning a right angle, blue dot, score. Oh, we got more. <laughs> All right, what is an equation of the line that's perpendicular to that function? So I'm going to type in my next problem. We've got three-fifths x minus two. It has to go through the point 3, negative 6, so I'm just going to change this to 3, negative 6. And then I'm going to make sure I type in 3, negative 6. All right, so it's got to go through that blue dot. So now we're going to type in the answer choices. Choice number 1 is 5 thirds x minus 11. Not perpendicular, not the correct answer. So I already know I could do 5 thirds x plus 1, choice 4, not perpendicular, not the correct answer. So I know it's got to be negative 5 thirds. And then I am going to do plus 11. Well, that is perpendicular, but it doesn't go through the blue dot. So now I'm going to do negative 5 thirds x minus 1. Perpendicular, right angles, through the blue dot, answer. All right. I'm not going to do the other two because you do it the exact same way. Type in the equation that they give you. Type in the dot. If it says perpendicular, you need to have right angles. Bye, guys.